Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai barbecue pork uh, and skewered or m o p i n g So the today the pork I use I use the shoulder, but this pieces that have the bone in that's uh, what I can find. So I gonna use two pound. So I g o n so I going to remove the bone and I going to I gonna cut into the side that I going to stick into the bamboo stick. So okay, um, this the um, it will be a good cut to use for the. m o p i n g or Thai barbecue pork because they have a fat, they have a fat on it, and then when you grill it, it will be juicy and tender and juicy and really really good. If you use the meat is too lean, uh, it's gonna your barbecue pork is gonna be a little bit dry. And also sometimes in Thailand we like to add the pork fat when we make the m o p i n g Even sometimes is the the p i e c e we use it already have the A fat on the on the piece on the uh, on the pork, but we still like to. A lot of Thai people like to um, add the pork fat fat anyway. All right, so I just cut about this thin, about this thin. Yeah, it will be easy to cook. Okay, so now I have in two p o u n the pork. Okay, the pork shoulder. Okay, this how thin the I cut. Now I have a two pound, and I have the bone and some um, some little meat left over in the bone. But no worry, I gonna use this uh, bone and the uh, left over this meat for make the pork stock or pork broth for the next meal. That will be really really very really good for the stock. All right, so we can move on to the next step. All right, so set the our pork on the side, and now I'm gonna move on to our marinade and herb. Okay, today I'm going to use a pasta and motor. So, but you can use this in the blender if you wanted to. But today I'm just gonna do in the own way. So I use the five c o p e of garlic. If it big, it will be five c o p e garlic. But this one you can see it's thick because they cut a small, and then. Three tablespoon the chopped s e a d a n s h o r stem. Okay, so everything go in. So let's move on. So okay, I talk about the s e a d a n s h o r stem. Normal the s e a d a n s h o r stem. The when you go to the grocery store, there's a lot of s e a d a n s h o r stem. But today when I go, I try to look. They cut them all out. It's a lot of leaves. So hard for me to get to the three tablespoon. All right. So and then I put one teaspoon the. Back pepper corn, one teaspoon back pepper corn already inside the pasta and mortar. Okay, and I have a white garb white pepper. Okay, you can add a white pepper when you add the liquid, but I got just gonna mix all together. And also I have a one tablespoon the coriander seed. I toast them, so I recommend to toast the um, toast them first. It will make a lot of Different the smell. Okay, and now I'm going to pile them together. But also, if you use the cow black pepper, so just cut in half. I use the whole black pepper, so I use a one teaspoon. But if you use the cow black pepper, just use a half teaspoon. Okay, with a lot of different. Same thing with the uh, coriander seed. I use one tablespoon. For the whole um, coriander seed, but if you use the ground, just use one te um, one teaspoon also. All right. Okay, and I'm not done pounding them yet, but I'm going to add a one teaspoon salt. Okay. One teaspoon salt. The salt will help break down all the herb too. And the coriander seed. Uh, if you can find the whole coriander seed, coriander seed, pick the whole coriander seed because you can toast them first, and they're so much different when they, you toast them first. All the flavor and essential oil coming out, it smell really, really good. Okay, so 
I just gonna keep pounding, pounding them until they uh, turn to the plate. Okay, now I pound everything is already uh, turned to the plate. So this is a little bit of workout. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sometimes it's good to do in the own way so you have a chance to work out exercise your arm a little bit okay and next I'm going to add the palm sugar I use three out palm sugar three out palm sugar okay so gonna because there's a big chunk that's why gonna pound them all together <laughs> But do not add the palm sugar in early because it will gonna be hard for you to power it because the palm sugar is gonna turn to uh, liquid and then you're not gonna be able to power everything um, turn to a plate so just have to add the palm sugar last Okay, as you can see now I'm done powering palm sugar and all the herbs together you can see they're very really thick and all the liquid come out from the sugar so if you add them too soon, you're not going to be able to pile. Alright, so now you have your mixing cup ready. Alright, I'm going to uh, move the, all the herb and the palm sugar to go to the mixing cup. Alright, and also for the palm sugar, if you cannot find the palm sugar, you can use the coconut sugar. Um, it will be okay too, it will be good too. But if you want to use the uh, white sugar or brown sugar, you just have to cut them half because the sweet uh, will be different. And if you put too much sugar, when you grill it, it will burn easily. So just be careful with that. It's okay if you like sweet and you add them more, but be careful when you grill, they will burn very easy. Okay, I want to make sure I get all the herb and all the sugar out. So this is my favorite too. So that's why sometimes in Thailand, we always use all, put all liquid in here and pour into the, the mixing bowl after. But today I make sure I already remove them all. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, next I'm going to add all the uh, next ingredient to our marinade sauce. Okay, so I use a uh, three tablespoon oyster sauce. This is a brand new bottle, so oh, <laughs> already one drop inside there. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, and three tablespoon oyster sauce. Next, three tablespoon the Golden Mountain seasoning soy sauce. 3 tablespoon 1 2 and 3 ok and next uh, black soy sauce here black soy sauce I will use 3 tablespoon also for the black soy sauce they are not really really salty it's just a little bit of salty and a little bit of sweet we always like to put the black soy sauce a lot because they um, uh, to caramel rice and then the color better to our barbecue pork so we always like to use the uh, black pepper okay uh, I mean back soy sauce okay so three tablespoon back soy sauce all right okay next gonna be the coconut milk so before the you open the coconut milk just be, make sure that you check them very well uh, very well first because i'm going to use uh, one cup and the coconut milk and i'm going to use the lid for the for put it when we grill so make sure you um, check them very really well first before you open. If not, it, all the fat is gonna be on the top. Okay, we want everything to mix well together. Okay, so I'm gonna use one cup the coconut milk. So one cup coconut milk, and save the rest. We're gonna have to use the the coconut milk more later. Okay, and let mix them well together. Okay, and next, the 3 tablespoon vegetable oil. Okay, 3 tablespoon vegetable oil and 3 tablespoon tapioca flour. Or uh, if you don't have tapioca flour, use the cornstarch. Okay, this is, I mean, tapioca starch. <laughs> so if you don't have tapioca starch, use the tapioca, use the cornstarch. 
three tablespoon, two, and three. Okay, and mix them well again one more time before we add to the our pork. So now I mix well already. Okay, I'm gonna pour uh, on top of our pork. And I want to make sure every drop of my salt get into my pork, so my favorite too. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, squeeze everything out. Okay, this is good enough. And now time to massage them, mix them well together. Okay, now the baby gonna help me cooking. So she sit next to me, so it will be better. Uh, all right, so now you're gonna mix uh, all the pork and the salt together it take about three minutes make sure make sure all the salt all the marinade uh, cover cover with every piece is uh, your pork so okay okay mixing keep mixing them three minutes okay i put the grove on because the garlic Sometimes really really hard to clean the gar the smell of the garlic on your hand, so that's why I put the glove on. Okay, now I mix them for three minutes. I'm gonna take out my glove and wash my hand, and we will come back to show you for the next step. All right, so we're done mixing them very well together, and now I'm gonna put the cover. I'm gonna put the plastic wrap to cover them and put them inside the refrigerator for overnight or at least for three hours. Of course, I make my already last night, so we don't have to wait for a long time, so we just can continue it. Okay, so this is the uh, one I made uh, last night before I sleep, and also don't forget when you marinate the when you marinate your pork so don't forget to soak the bamboo stick too so so they absorb all the water and it will be better when you soak them long time it will be a lot better okay now we're going to start to um, put them put the pork into the our stick i know i know i just put the grope on and then now i use my hand <laughs> so, so okay Anyway, you're cooking. The food is gonna taste good. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first one. Get your hand dirty. It will be um, a lot easier um, with the just your hand. Okay. Okay. And how big it depends. It's totally up to you. But when you in Thailand, you will see just a tiny, tiny little one because the. Um, um, they sell them very cheap and also this um, barbecue pork is very famous for the Thai baked fat too. We, um, we eat, we eat uh, in the morning before we go to school because it's kind of easy just to grab it um, with the sticky rice. Alright, so now I done um, put all the our pork into the our stick. So I have 13 of the big um, barbecue pork that I'm going to do. So I have 13 total and also don't forget the, your another half of the, your coconut milk that you're going to need for this when we grill it and also the, yeah yeah and also the leftover uh, the marinade I'm not going to throw away I'm just going to use it when I grill. Alright so we, let's go out and grill it together. Okay, so now we come out to uh, our backyard and now I'm going to start to put our pork to the grill. Alright, so I turn the medium low heat. Alright, gonna start with the first one. Look how big it is. Okay, so put them right here. Alright, one, two, eight. I'm gonna try to fit them all together but I don't want to use on the side um, because I don't want the bottom of the stick to getting burned so I'm just gonna use this on this side all right yeah they will fit all 13 okay they're gonna cook about two two minutes on each side because we cut them very thin so I not recommend you walk away 
and then I'm going to put like a extra extra the marinade that we have I don't like to throw them away so now I put, I cook them two minutes on each side and they start to start getting cooked uh, except for the one on the side uh, maybe the heat a little bit lower than the uh, one in the middle so I'm gonna have to cook the one on the side longer but um, anyway now time for us to put the coconut milk the when we saved uh, earlier so we're gonna put the coconut milk uh, make them look at how this make them is even more juicy and smell really good with all the coconut milk uh, the coconut oil gonna make it so amazing taste coconut milk mm. put them a lot put them all over okay. 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 gonna do them all And then you're going to flip it and then you're going to do on both sides. Alright, so after you put the coconut milk on both sides and then you're going to make sure the you're gonna gill them until the you not see the coconut milk anymore. And we done then we can try it together. See now all we done. So I take some out already because uh, they done before order. So and then I use this um I use the tongue to help to grab it because they the big, the skewer is too small for them. Alright, so now they're all done, all the coconut milk is all removed. So now I'm just going to put everything on the plate and we try this. Alright, here now we're done our moping or Thai barbecue pork. Oh my goodness, they smell so good and of course we like to eat them with the sticky rice. You, you need sticky rice for this moping or this barbecue. I can't wait to try it. Like now, I'm going to try it right now. Okay, I'm just gonna cap the one stick. As you can see, they're kind of a little bit heavy and the big for a little the stick. So that's why the, I use the tongue to help them to When I flip them, I use the tongue to help. This is how we eat. We're just gonna cap the sticky rice and then we're just gonna cap the pieces of pork. Oh, still really hot and I'm going to try them right now. Mmm. You don't need a dipping sauce. The pork is so juicy. Mm. Mm. Meat tender, pork so juicy, and all the marinade is so. You need to try this recipe. I hope you give this recipe a try, and I hope you like this video, and I hope you like this recipe. Please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.